Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just Commentary. So we're going to check out a video entitled Thai Food Tour with my queen, of course, Hostel Tour Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, don't forget, of course, leave a comment below and I will try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. And the street food of Thailand. Oh, what building ships are so unique. The part of town that we've come to is called Bang Kapi, and this particular area here is just lined with shops and food stalls and all sorts of delicious looking stuff. I'm definitely getting hungry. Wow. Now, let's just say that. <laughs> is that turmeric? I just saw okay. turmeric there. I to get a little snack, but I'll hold up. All right, guys, we have met up with Mark. We've Mark Wee! Delicious looking place. What is the name of this spot? It is called... So what is this place known for? Ah, Makanui Thai too. That's this, good. This whole area is full of Southern Thai food. A lot of rice and curry, and then also Ooh. kind of jean, which we will eat. All right, I am excited. I'm oh. very hungry. Allison is hungry as well. I'm hungry yes, too. Let's, let's eat. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at the variety of food there. Ooh, such a beautiful layout. Right. Wow. I'm surprised that Mac. I'm surprised that Mac don't speak more Thai in this video. Like he don't speak a lot of Thai. It looks like he can speak it, or sounds like he can. He loves spicy. Definitely not. Delicious looking dishes here. What should we try first? We better start with the noodles, the okay. kanam jean. And these are the, the noodles are kanam jean, which is soft rice noodles. Wow. This one is called namya with minced fish and okay. coconut. Whoa. Fish and then coconut. this one is made with uh, it's like a fermented fish. Looking like coal. Oh, right. Fish guts. Fish guts. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. All right. And that's like this is all the, the like ultimate fish guts. Really? Okay. Oh well, it's God. Be so we're all going to try the kanam jean first. I'm going with the, the gang tag la. All right. All right. Nice. Let's see. Normally it's spaghetti you have to use with a fork, oh, not yeah. with a spoon. Oh, yeah. Got a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's making me a little scared for this one if it's supposed to be spicy. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's a little bit spicy. Mark oh, loves oh, spicy nice. food. Fishy curry. It's so good. Yep. So they... They should debone the, the, the fish. Mm -hmm. You can mm. probably pound it with the mortar and pestle so it gets like kind of fluffy. Yeah. Wow. It's, I've never had fish texture like this. But it's really good. This is looking very delicious. This one is awesome. Okay. Looking like you can so consume okay. it in oof, less than a minute. Maybe like a, could be a 7 out of 10. Alright, alright. All right. Oh, 7 out of 10. The name of this one? King <laughs> Tai Fla. Down the hatch. Really strong fish taste. Mm -hmm. sure. mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that face came. Look at that face. It's so red already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. We like spicy, but this is like our upper range of spicy. But <laughs> Very hot. This is like a really full-bodied spicy. I oh, feel yeah. like the whole mouth is on fire, not just oh, yeah. my lips. This, this mouth is, is on fire. fire. On the bottom. Wow, this and looks interesting. Spice? I'm quite sure that's pepper. There's finely shredded leaves. There are long beans. There's wow. long grass. There's this looks very healthy. And there is this is coconut. And then what you do is you just mix, mix it. Mix all of wow, it. this looking and very healthy. A, like a little bit of a fish dressing as well. Yeah, this is a classic Southern Thai. Nice. Mm, this is rice in there too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> I just realized his shirt said if it's not spicy, I'm not eating. So he's just in love with spicy food. There's a bunch of uh finely shredded lemongrass in there. Ah yeah. That's a really good thing. Oh yeah. Because sometimes we get some dishes and the lemongrass is like overpowering. Uh but definitely not in this one. Wow, it's definitely fresh. It's a good way to describe it. Delicious. I like the hat as well in Mac. these dishes are all with the pepper and top. Dig in and choose whatever you want. You want to try the gang summers? Yeah. Yes. So what? This is one of the staples of Southern Thai food. Wow, this is looking delicious. Is that beef and um, potato? Turmeric. That's why it's so orange. Ah, yes. Okay. Turmeric and chilies. 
I just did a video guys. I will try to my best to upload it also on, on um, Juno suggests a commentary, but I'm gonna upload it on my other YouTube channel where I planted turmeric in a pot. Like what they're eating right now, I, I planted the turmeric in a pot and I'm quite sure it's gonna be a great video. I'm I'll upload on my aggressive but I'll try my best to upload it for you guys to so see it's also in Thailand. And I've never had papaya prepared this way in anything. Oh it's papaya, I thought it was potato, you see? So this is the stink beans with wow. Stink beans are one of my absolute favorite ingredients. Wow, it looks in like this one, this one looks like chicken, like stewed things. chicken. Like I would, what I would do, I would fry. No, I would stew the chicken. No, no, no. fry it, pre-fry it, and then stew it, and then make like a nice sauce of it. Wow, I I really wanted to do videos for you guys to see where I prepare my meal, how I do it, but because of the hurricane and the situation right now, I can't do that right now. I'll have to wait when I can get back to normal as well. Coconut milk. Better with coconut milk. Sadly, we don't have a lot of coconut trees anymore because of hurricane Maria. We really don't have any coconuts. How are we gonna get the trees? They're all done. We're gonna have to replant. Oh, this hurricane is just so. Wow, this looks. What is this? Huh? <laughs> Mac is the best. Mac is recording and eating at the same time. I'm really starting to really enjoy the coconut dishes. Yeah, they're very nice. Like subtle milkiness to the dish, you know. It gives it this nice subtle flavor. Really adds to it. It's really nice after the spice. This is coconut shoot curry with pork. We're saving this one for last. Looks really friggin' delicious. Looks it does. Coconut milk. Mmm mmm mmm. Delicious! <laughs> Delicious! Yeah. It's really good. There's so much flavor in that. It's like a little sweet. A coconut peppery. Yeah. So good. The best thing I think. It's really thick. Adding coconut it's milk to your meal. Very nice. Yeah, and it gives it that kind of lingering burn, you know? That's that's actually probably one of the best dishes. Oh, yeah. That is of the, Must of be. the four. Yeah. For me here, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I might have to agree with you on that one. That one's properly good. Now that we have tasted all the dishes, we can feast. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can feast <laughs> and just part. finish it all. <laughs> yeah, because as you see, what I do, they have access to all that green stuff there. Because as you, as I noticed, they have to take take the time to taste every different meal. And I'm wondering, like after they they've done that, what next? So I guess it's just munch, 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 munch. So we've just been hanging out, chatting with Mark, eating all these delicious Thai dishes. Um, it's all very spicy, but luckily we have the coconut dishes to kind of cut the spice. Yeah, but, uh, I don't like so spicy food. About Southern Thai food. We are so excited to head down to Southern Thailand and try some of this stuff for ourselves. We are stuffed. We wanted to give a huge <laughs> thank you to Mark for uh, giving us a little food tour today. We learned so much. It was so freaking delicious. Thank you so much. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. Mark face is like red, dude. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you always gotta leave with takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> that whole meal, everything that we ate was the equivalent of about six USD. So to give you an idea six. of how affordable all that stuff was, which is crazy. pretty awesome. Six you wow. Oh my I mean you cannot come to Thailand and you will not be hungry. If you come to Thailand, you will always have enough money to eat. I found this stand that has these little Thai crepes. And Ooh, I think one of our recommended them in an earlier video from Bangkok. But we've seen them everywhere and we've never tried them. So I want to try it. It looks like it's coconut. I think this is a sweet one. You can get salty wow. or a mix. Not salty for sure. Get a sweet one. Delicious, isn't it? Really? I don't think... It doesn't taste like coconut. It must be cheese then. It tastes like a, a fortune cookie with... Really? It looks like so, a kind of like a cookie. You know what? Cookie. It's like the outside of the little weird hot dog things we got near the 7-Eleven. <laughs> oh, yeah. But with like... Sweet. Stuff try it then. Give it a try. Come on. I mean, give it a try, man. Like, That's really good. eat it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got like a caramelly kind of vibe. It looks like it cheese. Definitely has a fortune cookie vibe going on. Yeah, but it's good, right? Like, Why is he so taking so such bad. small bites? Sweet little crepe tacos. Yeah. We came back to our hostel. We're actually staying at the Mad Monkey Hostel, which is called. That's where we stayed when we were in. Mad Monkey Bangkok. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. We stayed in the. We just wanted to give you guys a quick tour. So this is the uh, room we've been staying in. They have private rooms like this one for two people. But they wow. also have dorm style rooms that run for a little bit cheaper, just like a typical hospital. We've also 
guy. Oh. Private bathroom over here in this room. We've been uh, staying on the second floor. Wow. The ground floor is where the bar and hangout area are. Where we've been spending quite a bit of time. Most of this. Mad monkey is it? If I come to Thailand, I already have somewhere to stay. Um, I, I like there's someone on Facebook I'm, I've been chatting with, and he have a hotel, so I'm going to. Eventually, when I come to Thailand, you guys will know where I'm staying. I'm not quite sure if I should say where I'm staying, but if anything, it will be announced. But I, I know for sure I have a lot of places I can visit in Thailand. A lot of you on, or, uh, who are my fans, you said you make yourself available to give me tours of different places. I think I got three places offered to stay, um, so I will have to decide. Maybe I could even do a video asking you where's the best place I should stay. Because there's so many to see that. So many things. In Cambodia, they have this amazing pool. This is like the coolest hangout area ever. You can see everyone's just kind of chilling and drinking beer in the background, which you know we love to do. We had an absolutely delicious day today with Mark. It was so much fun learning so much about Southern Thai food. So full. But it is very hot. So we are going to take a dip in this amazing pool. <laughs> Ew, I went <really> like <laughs> Oh boy. I hope it's a group where you went under the water if I know it's actually a camera. Of course that was an awesome video. I'd like to thank you guys very much for requesting it. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to Juno with just a commentary guys. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Bye guys.